Today on BNI Mid America TV, it's the Notable Networker Show. These BNI members have been nominated by their peers for doing amazing things, reaching big accomplishments, and actively displaying the giver's gain philosophy. Listen as they share their golden nuggets for networking success. And now your host, Marcy Cascio Hale. Hello, everybody, and welcome to BNI Mid America TV. This is the Notable Networker Show where we get a chance to talk with some of our seriously outstanding members and get their insights on their business, BNI and networking. My name is Marcy Cascio Hale and I am your host. And today we have with us Lisa York. So happy to have you here, Lisa. Well, thank you. I'm really happy to be here. Well, this is exciting because you are one of those BNI members that I have watched when I came in, I was like, ooh, that's Lisa York. And everybody's like, that's Lisa York. So I'm really excited that you're here. Um, so a little bit about you. Lisa is part of the Belleville chapter that meets Wednesday from 8 to 9.30. She is a, well, she holds the Merchant Services Credit Card Processing seat. She is the Passport Coordinator and on the Membership Committee, which love that. And she is also the owner of Beacon Payments Midwest LLC out of O'Fallon. And I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about that. Um, so first of all, welcome Lisa and let's get right down to business. I want to hear about your business. Please share with us. Sure. Well, thank you. So my business is as you said, Beacon Payments Midwest, and I work with business owners who accept credit cards, and I help them reduce their expenses, and I make their lives a little bit easier because they have a real person. All of my merchants get my cell phone number. They can call, text, or email me, and fortunately, there aren't a lot of problems, but if there is a problem, they can call me, and they have a real person. That's one of the very frustrating things about this industry is there are a lot of 800 numbers and hold times and you don't have that when you work with Lisa York at Beacon Payments Midwest. Nice. So how long have you been with, well, how long have you owned Beacon Payments Midwest? So I have been in the industry for almost seven years, but I've, I created an LLC about a year ago. Nice. And, yeah. and so what, what is your passion about credit card processing? T tell me about that. What, why, why did you say I have to do this? That's such a great question. So first of all, I'll tell you that I was a stay home mom for 17 years mm -hmm. and my brother owns a credit card processing company. And when my kids grew up, he said to me, the kids are gone. I said, Oh my gosh, I know I'm a little concerned about it. And he said, you should come work for me. So I said, well, I will, but I don't think I'm going to like it. I haven't been in corporate for 17 years. I don't think I could have a boss anymore. And he said, no, 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 it's 1099. Do your own thing. And I said, well, I'll try it. Well, I tried it and turned out I loved it. But it's interesting because I don't love credit card processing. You said, what's your passion about credit card processing? And my passion is not about credit card processing. So the reason I do what I do and what I'm passionate about is helping small businesses. So it's going to sound a little corny, but this is a truth. I think that you are, when you're a business owner, you decided that you could offer a product or a service and you were going to set out your shingle and go for it. And we live in America where you have the opportunity to do that. I mean, how great is it? But then you have all these things in your business that you have to have that you don't like, that you probably don't know a lot about. And so you just pick the first thing that comes along. And credit card processing is one of those. And so I feel like if I can help that business owner reduce those expenses, take the headaches out of what, quite frankly, is kind of a slimy, dog-eat-dog, -dog, people want to make a buck industry, then I, in actuality, partnered with that business owner, and I'm a part of that dream that they had. So it's not the credit card thing for me that just happens to be the venue that I'm in. It's really about helping that small bu local business owner. That's what I'm very passionate about. I love that. And, and I, I have to tell you, I think that's one of the things I really enjoy about BNI is because I get to meet all these small business owners, small and large business owners, but right. I feel like my referrals help put food on their table. 
And that, I mean, you hit the nail on the head. It, it's, it's helping other businesses to, to fulfill their dreams, really. Right. Well, I always say the Walmarts of the world don't need a person like me who actually cares. <laughs> <laughs> they just need credit card processing, and that's not me. Um, I, I would totally understand that. So um, now, from what you've said, I already kind of have an idea, but can you tell me what sets you apart and your business apart from other credit card processors? Sure. So like I did already say, it's really having me uh, to help. But also, because I own my business, I have complete autonomy with the rates, and I can really offer the lowest rates available. When you work for a large corporation in this industry, they're going to set a, a low um, standard, and they're going to, not a low standard, but they're going to tell you, this, here's the lowest rate you can offer. I have the flexibility. If I need to offer a lower rate to really help that business owner cut some expenses, I can pretty much do whatever I want. Oh, that's so I think that's the difference. Yeah. So you are very client centered. hundred percent. You know, I feel that this industry is a marathon, not a sprint. So I don't make a lot of money off any clients, but if I have a lot of clients, then I can make a living. And I think there are people in the industry who, are a little too greedy and are trying to make a lot of money on each client. And that's why there's lots of room for me to come in and cut prices. I love it. I love it. That, that's great. I'm glad there, I'm glad there's a place for you because it's very obvious that you want to help people. And that's yeah, I do. amazing. And so I wanted to give you, um, well, I like to start these out by giving you the feedback that I received from your nomination. Um, and I, it, it's always kind of fun because as we talked on off screen, I love to share positive feedback with people because I, I don't think people get enough thank you. So, um, so here's the feedback I got for you. Lisa lives and breathes networking and BNI. Lisa is what BNI is all about. And Lisa has taken me personally to her accounts and introduced me to business owners. And that, that's pretty amazing. Nobody's done that for me. That's really amazing. Thank um, you. So, so tell me, how does that make you feel? Well, I really appreciate those kind words. That's for sure. And um, yeah, I just am honored that somebody thought enough of me to, nominate me for the program and you already said it I like to help people and what I, you know you can give referrals that aren't awesome but you can work to give referrals that are awesome and to me the best referral the best way to introduce someone and it's, I'll just say the best way to introduce someone is by walking them into a business and so I've done that many times because you already have a level of trust with the customer and you're walking your referral partner in, which immediately increases the level of trust that they're going to have with that person. And I do know that it has worked. You know, they've been able to get the business and of course, givers gain. The other person hopefully is going to do the same for you. And it's fun. And it's fun. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. I'm going to pause right here. McAdoo. McAdoo. He's a little senile. I got it. So that was at 55. <laughs> um, okay. Um, do you want to answer that question again? I can't remember what I said. I can't do, either. So we'll just keep going just, on. He can, he can take, he can, he can take mine out. I think he can take I my think microphone so off. So that's okay. perfect. Um, sorry about that. Oh, no. Listen, mine are upstairs barking. You just can't hear them. I just can't hear them. They're doing great. Um, okay, so I want to ask you, I, I have questions to ask you, but when you answered this one question, it has piqued my curiosity. So I want to skip ahead and ask you what your biggest BNI win has been, because there's a story and I can't wait to hear the story. <laughs> So I have to say, 
I'm very grateful and blessed. I have a lot of awesome B&I wins and B&I stories. But this one story is just so interesting and so fun that I like to share it. If someone said to me, does B&I work for you? I would share this story and say, yeah, look how awesome this is. So there's a local barbecue restaurant in town, and they posted on Facebook and said that they needed a new point of sale system. And a former B&I member tagged me, which in and of itself I thought was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes you have to make things happen for yourself. So I took a picture of that post with the tag, and I messaged it to my B&I group, and I said, hey, if any of you guys could help me out and post something on here recommending me, I'd be very appreciative. And within about five minutes, my B&I group, they're so awesome, 12 people had posted recommending me. So I left a message for the owner. He called me back. And long story short, I got his business. And then additionally, there was a bakery that was opening up in the same neighborhood, brand new business. And she messaged me and said, I'm opening a bakery. I'm going to need a point of sale system. You're obviously the person to talk to. And then I got her business as well. So what a great BNI story, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And, and that is the power of BNI. You have For all sure. of these individuals that are looking to try and help get you business. Oh, that's amazing. I love that story. And I just kind of made it easy for them. <laughs> well, I, but that, I mean, with Facebook, you have to work with the algorithms you've got. Right. And maybe not everybody saw that. That's, that's a wonderful way. That's a wonderful way to enable your BNI partners. Right to help with that. That's great. And I'm sure everybody was really excited to be able to go, yes, I know Lisa York. She's great. That's fabulous. I love that story. Yeah. Um, now you said you had a second story because I do. I, I, anytime somebody tells me they have a story, I want to hear it. Okay. So this is a good story also. So my golden goose referral is to a locally owned bank because every bank partners with a company to provide their merchant services. Mm -hmm. So as you can imagine, if I can partner with a local bank, on paper anyway, they're going to be sending me leads from all of their customers, right? Right. So that's my golden goose referral. So we were in a B&I meeting and the education coordinator stood up and he said, have you ever asked for your golden goose referral? And it got me thinking, I've never asked for it. And at, the po at that point, I was like, what is my golden goose referral? And that's how, when I figured out it was partnership with a local bank. So I had been trying to get into this low, it's a one branch local bank over here where I live. And I had been to some chamber events and met the principals and I'd kind of been working on it, but it wasn't getting really as far as I wanted to. And of course, anything like that is definitely a process. Mm -hmm. So I stood up in my B&I meeting and I said, I would like to meet so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so from this bank, if anyone can introduce me. Well, lo and behold, I was very specific. And people in my B&I group knew these principals at the bank. And some of them texted them. Some of them sent emails. And sure enough, I got in and had a meeting. And it was a little nerve-wracking because there were 10 bankers in the room. But anyway, and I am now, Beacon Payments Midwest is now the merchant service provider for that bank. It's big. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah, I was pretty excited and grateful. And specific is terrific. That's what Ivan says. Yes. And that's proof. That is. Um, now, I wanted to ask you a question about that, and I just lost it. Um, oh, can you tell us the definition of a golden goose referral? Yes. To I don't know if this is exactly the B&I definition, but to me, the golden goose referral is sort of the big one that kind of keeps giving, like the, like the bank. You know, that's a referral that is going to give and give and give. Right. So to me, that's the definition. Yeah. Maybe it's, a, it's, a, it's not just one business. It's a partnership with someone who can provide you a lot of business. Yes, with all those ongoing, because the goose – Lays Keep laying the eggs. eggs, right? Yes, that's. I love that. Um, yeah, and that's an amazing story. And that was because you asked for what you wanted. 
Yeah. And I, I love that. That's, that's amazing. Um, so let's talk about, I mean, you, you've had two really big, I mean, the stories were great. Those are great success stories. Um, how has BNI affected your business? that you can, I mean, obviously you've received two amazing referrals, um, but, but how has B&I itself affected your business? So when I started in my business, so almost seven years ago, I started from zero. I had no clients. I had nothing. I think my first check was like $19. But anyway, so I decided I had heard of B&I, but I wasn't terribly familiar. And I decided that I did not, I was too old to spend my life cold calling. And so I thought, I've got to figure out some way that I don't have to live my life cold calling because I know some people like it, I do not like it, and I don't have the energy anymore. I did it a lot when I was younger. So I decided to check out BNI. And when I got to BNI, I was amazed at how awesome it was. And I decided, I think this can work for me. So I really developed relationships with the people in my group, especially in my B2B sphere. And I think that's the key mm -hmm. in B&I is to try to really solidify the um, relationships with the people in your sphere, because it's my experience that most referrals come from your sphere. So I worked really hard to develop those relationships. And then fortunately for me, this, this will not translate for everyone, but for me, there was really no one else in the area in my industry in BNI. So I went, yeah, I was very, very fortunate. So I went and visited a lot of BNI groups. Mm -hmm. And then when I visited the group, I made one-to-one -one appointments with the people that I thought could, we, we could be good referral partners. So a lot of my business comes from my group, but I, a lot of my business also comes from other BNI groups. And I think that's a very strategic way to work and to make BNI work for you. If you're in an industry that it works, you know, if you're the mortgage lender, it's probably not going to work for you. Yes. But if you're, in, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, so if you're in an industry where you don't have, where you have the ability to go talk in other chapters, it's definitely a very, very good idea. And that's how I built my business. And so at this point, and again, I'm very grateful, and it comes from all over BNI. About 65% of my client list was BNI referrals. Wow. Yeah. And without BNI, I pro I I don't know that I'd have a business. So I'm very appreciative. That's fabulous. And I yeah. you had so many golden nuggets in there <laughs> because number one, I got visit other chapters. For sure. And then, but you have to be strategic about, you can't just visit and then that's the end of it. And I'll tell you this, that's very exciting to someone who's in sales and has been for many years. If you're in sales, you know that a lot of people slam the door in your face and people don't want to talk to you, especially if you're cold calling. Mm -hmm. But I call it BNI sales magic. So if I call someone and I say, hey, let's do a one-to-one, 99% -one, chance they're going to say yes, because we all want to get our one-to-ones in. Right. So that made my life so much better that I was dealing in a group of people that actually wanted to speak with me. Well, and, and that's something else I got out of what you just said is you, you made one-to-one -one appointments with referral partners. It yeah. wasn't to sell to that person. It was to work together in a symbiotic way. And right. I, I think that's a wonderful asset or facet, I mean, of, of BNI is we don't sell to each other. We, we um, train our extended sales force to sell for us. Exactly. And that's, and I love that you got into more meetings that way. That's wonderful. And I, I truly believe that we all need to extend our definition of chapter because like down here in Southern Illinois, we have five chapters. We think we, and I'm going to use we as me, but I think <laughs> of us as a chapter of 125 people. Right. Exactly. And you should. Yeah. Because yeah. if, if my chapter doesn't have it, I've got four other chapters to go to and they are my referral partners too. Yeah. So, I mean, 
And the fact that you can go in your area and, and branch out and branch out and branch out to the world is even cooler. I mean, well, and I do, I want to also add, I was so excited and thankful for how BNI impacted my business that I decided I wanted to give back to BNI. And so I became a chapter ambassador to be able to go help other members. And that, and getting involved. That's, yeah, that's part of it. Um, okay. We had, we had quite a few golden nuggets there. I don't know if that's good or bad. No, that's great. It's great. I mean that I crunched them all in together. No, no, no. <laughs> that's actually wonderful. Is there one? Oh, I mean, we had several. Is are there any other golden nuggets or any one of those golden nuggets that you want to emphasize to our viewers? I think one of the main things in BNI and in any networking is you really have to follow up. You've probably heard it said the fortunes in the follow up, and it's so true. Because you could go to another BNI meeting and then never talk to anyone there. And quite frankly, you just wasted a whole bunch of your time. Mm -hmm. So you need to follow up and set up to the one-to-ones. I think it's really important when people give you referrals, you have to follow up. I mean, someone made the effort to think of you and, and give you a little gift. And so you really have to follow up on it. So I'm not perfect by any means, but I work pretty hard to try to follow up on every aspect of BNI and just networking in general. I love that because following up is one of the places that so many, and I will raise my hand too, so many people um, need more assistance with. We all do. It's hard. We're busy. Yes. You want to just get in, get out, do whatever, but, and, and it takes time. Mm -hmm. It's hard. And again, I'll raise my hand too, because I am definitely not perfect at it. I just try. <laughs> Trying is good. There you go. At least in that instance. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, I, Lisa, I want to thank you for your time today and for all of your wisdom for sharing with us. Um, I really appreciate you coming on today. You're welcome. Thanks so much for having me. It's just been a delight and an honor. I appreciate it. Well, more than deserved. Let me say that. Um, and if our viewers, if you would like more information on Lisa, please check out the show notes if you want to reach out to her for a one-to-one -to, -one, um, to learn about her business or to talk to her about her BNI experience. Uh, please reach out to her. She's, she's an open book. I, I, I've watched True. And, and from afar and I, I just, you are amazing. Um, so, and I also want to thank you viewers. Thank you so much for spending time with us and please uh, look for other BNI Mid-America TV shows such as going to, the, going to the Green, the Gold Club Member Spotlight and the New Member Spotlight, just among a few. Just a few. Uh, and then please click and subscribe, share with your friends and family and especially share this with someone who is looking to grow their business. We'd love to help. Thanks so much and have a great day. For more information on how BNI can help you build your business, book your complimentary consultation with Virginia Moose Keith at discoverbniminamerica.com. BNI Mid America TV is brought to you by the Bergman Insurance Group, your trusted source for Medicare information, education, and enrollment. Be sure to check out the show notes for additional information on how to contact today's host or guest about their business. And thanks for watching.